Here, among the lush, verdant mountains of southwestern Uganda, life is hard. Despite vegetation flourishing in the fertile river valleys, diseases of poverty abound. Yet the nearest health post is a two-hour climb up a sheer mountainside at 2,000 meters altitude. Lungs burning and muscles screaming, followed by a two-hour scramble back down. Here there are no roads, no tracks, and few beaten paths, just mountains to climb. When it rains, the going becomes even more treacherous. Imagine what the journey is like if you're already ill or in pain, or carrying a sick child. Imagine how you would feel if your neighbor could help treat your illness. In Africa, poverty is a predominantly rural phenomenon. Two thirds of Africans live in conditions such as these, dependent on natural water courses to sustain their subsistence agriculture. One in three are severely undernourished. Many have multiple infections and parasites. Health systems are either non-existent or out of reach because of distance, cost, and cultural, religious, or gender factors. The African Program for Onchocerciasis Control, APOC, works in these extremes. It protects a population and geographical area one and a half times bigger than the United States. It works where there are no roads, where there are no doctors or drugs, where hunger is greatest and income is lowest, where poverty is widespread and needs are greatest. It is under conditions like these throughout sub-Saharan Africa that APOC operates, improving the lives and well-being of millions of people. Over the past decade, APOC has proactively accelerated onchocerciasis control. It has done so by creating an enabling environment for responsible and constructive community involvement and empowerment, pioneering an innovative system of community-directed treatment, coordinating delivery of ivermectin donated by Merkin Company in the form of Mectazan tablets. Facilitating the participation of NGDOs and faith-based organizations. Astutely deploying funds from a committed group of donors and mobilizing all sectors of society. APOC operates in synergy with national health systems, paving the way for them to take over total responsibility for a successful system. All to ensure that remote and neglected communities like these can free themselves from the spectre of blindness and disfiguring skin disease. APOC's innovative and signature community-directed treatment system, or COMDT, has seen affected communities assume ownership and become the driving force of the process. This has enabled them to protect themselves, improving the health of millions of people, using a customized service, healthcare with a personal face. Jacenta is a typical example of Africa's new breed of community-dwelling, barefoot medicinal drug distributors. She tells us that she's been taking Mectazan for six years and has been selected by her village as a volunteer drug distributor. She has seven children, and when she's delivering drugs and food supplements to her neighbors, her husband supports her by looking after them. She explains that her own children have become healthier, their skin no longer itches, they have no worms, and they're eating better. And she's also seen the general health of her community improve. She will continue in her work, although she complains that she has to go without lunch and is exhausted on the days that she has to trek over the mountainside to deliver mectazan, albendazole, and vitamin A. The fundamental sustainability and vast promise of the COMDT process is not only banishing the threat of onchocerciasis, it has heralded an adaptable and much needed revolution in primary healthcare in Africa. All 19 APOC countries have widespread vitamin A deficiency, so delivering vitamin A supplements with ivermectin will save the lives of tens of thousands of children each year and prevent blindness. Micronutrients, drugs to fight schistosomiasis and trachoma, anti-malarials, long-lasting insecticidal bed nets. All help people help themselves, help link communities with previously disconnected health services, and promote integration and maximize the use of resources. Better still, treatment coverage with ivermectin and other drugs has increased using the new integrated approach. The COMDT system 
reaches all households, irrespective of their wealth or degree of poverty. Community-directed treatment is truly equitable, inclusive of all, owned by all, and for the benefit of all. In Uganda, working with a wide range of diverse partners, the government is now fully committed to Mectazan distribution, using a coordinated nationwide program of integrated community-driven interventions. That the government is very committed to uh, make sure that Wangusakas is eliminated in this country. And that we have decentralized deliver of health services and functions in this country, where the districts actually play a big role in putting what they think their priority in their work plans. And Wangusakas is, is one of the diseases they have also put in their work plan because it is a disease nationally targeted for elimination. And the support has been good uh, in terms of financial contribution by the district services and uh, in the terms of human resources. And uh, the partners, we are all working together as, in, as you know, as the NGD was Ministry of Health, Health District Health Services, communities to make sure that ivermectin is sustainably de delivered. Probably I should say at this moment, even in, in districts where we don't have energy dual partners. Here in Nigeria, where blinding onchocerciasis was common and sad reminders of the past are all too obvious, control measures are also working. Here, as elsewhere, the COMDT process has been well proven. Home to one in five of Africa's people, Nigeria has had its own mountain to climb. The scale of the intervention is prodigious, with 31 million Nigerians already getting ivermectin regularly. As in Uganda, COMDT has been expanded to encompass other disease control initiatives, including TB DOTS treatment. Integrated delivery and co-implementation improves quality of life and provides a chance for households to improve their income, better their food supply and climb slowly out of poverty. Forward-thinking programs to rehabilitate the blind and help them to generate income are also being introduced to allow these individuals to become contributing and productive members of households once again. But alongside successes, concerns about sustainability have arisen. We've had an experience uh, recently in one state where we tried out a box withdrawal and it wasn't a very um, successful thing because the state, that particular state, was not able to fill all the gaps. But we foresee that uh, even if EPOC is to withdraw, it has to be a gradual process. It drops some areas of support and over time, you know, to be in a phased manner. And, um, and also we expect that we still have an uh, international monitoring team, you know, to continue to link up with us, you know. And for us, we must continue to advocate to the states to the local government areas, you know, those other tiers of government, to and maybe articulate in detail with the support of EPOC what they must do so that it is clear to them that the, the resources they need to put into this program. Disease elimination will clearly require effective transfer of responsibilities for coordination once EPOC's regional role, financial and other support ceases. The key for success will be comprehensive integration, encompassing both health and socio-economic issues, at all levels and among all partners, using all available resources. We need to link up with other ministries, you know, so that it's not purely a health issue. Because if we consider the farmlands that are deserted by the people affected by onchocerciasis, then you will begin to think that Ministry of Agriculture should actually be involved in this program. Then what of education? If we educate our people, they will also know the problems of this disease and, and, and it will help them to protect themselves from this disease. Ivermectin can conquer onchocerciasis and 90 million Africans will soon be taking these tablets at least once annually. As well as immeasurable health benefits, significant socio-economic benefits accrue. Land is reclaimed for food and cash crop production. Social stigma and the suffering caused by disfigured skin are alleviated. The situation of women is being improved and opportunities for childhood education restored. COMDT 
has proved conclusively that even the poorest of the poor can effectively organize themselves to identify and address community priorities and problems and produce sustainable solutions to health challenges. Indeed, COMDT's inherent principles of community empowerment, participatory decision-making, demand responsiveness, administrative autonomy and enhanced local capacity have become the fundamental components of the African Union's Africa Health Strategy, as well as the World Bank's new community-driven development approach. The community-directed treatment is one of the most success stories that, you know, the world can copy. <laughs> it is started in Adamawa State. I do not know anywhere else. Uh, but um, community-directed uh, treatment using the um, community volunteers is one of the success stories. APOC has shown us a way, and it has shown us a way that is even almost self-sustaining. We have now reached a defining moment in the fight against onchocerciasis. The actions we take now and the plans we put into place will decide the future success or failure of disease elimination. We're halfway towards the Millennium Development Goals. Yet experience has shown that targets cannot always be met, nor time frames adhered to, especially in areas of armed conflict. As APOC plans for the future, certain major questions demand attention, including perhaps the most difficult problem of all, that which follows success. How to convince the young to take ivermectin to protect them from a disease they've never experienced and to convince others they must persist in taking their tablets annually. The answers will require effective coordination being put in place regionally, nationally and locally once the APOC family partnership has been dissolved. As a program run by Africans for Africans, APOC's goal has always been people-oriented, pro-poor, measurable and time-limited. Onchocerciasis can be defeated and APOC's pioneering fight must be sustained. Fortunately, even if APOC disappeared overnight, its legacy, in the form of COMDT, will live on. <laughs>